If I had watched Cat Soup without doing any research before watching this, I definitely wouldn't have had the slightest idea what was going on. And judging by the comments that I've read online, that generally seems to be the consensus because this is a very unique and creative animation that on the one hand doesn't make any sense and is a little bit baffling and quite peculiar and from a if you're looking at it from a more logical linear perspective certainly as a writer it's just ludicrous and doesn't make a lot of sense but when you start to delve into the individual sections and certain characters it's actually quite moving and emotional it's for me at least one of those shorts that needs more than one watch. It's, I mean, I say it's a short, it's technically a short, but it's over half an hour in length. And this was released in 2001, directed by Tatsuo Seto. And I'll read the description from IMDb, which kind of gives a brief overview of what it's about, but it's very difficult to summarize it in one sentence. But this says, a young anthropomorphic cat goes on a psychedelic journey with his sister, in order to save her soul. It is as weird as it sounds and when you view it as a whole it's quite bonkers and very unusual and sometimes quite disturbing but as I said if you look at it with each section or each stage of this cat's journey and you begin to break down what's happening it actually becomes quite moving and I don't want to say too much more about that partly because I can't because there are bits of it that I still don't understand because and I don't know if it's because I'm not meant to or if it's because of cultural differences this is a Japanese cartoon and there's actually not a lot of talking in it but we do have some English subtitles occasionally which don't really help to be honest um, <laughs> like there, there, uh, there's a subtitle that says, I watch this on YouTube, and the subtitles are built into the animation, and it says a fish. Well, I could, I could kind of gather that it was a fish, based on the fact that it was an animation of a fish. So, and honestly, I don't feel like the subtitles help, but in a way, that makes it a more interesting experience. Not fully understanding what on earth is going on, really makes it quite trippy and mind-blowing sometimes in the very darkest ways and I love dark and disturbing things so this really appealed to me and usually I don't like animations or any films that don't make sense where it feels like the director or the writer has just regurgitated you know aspects from all kinds of facets and that is actually what's gone on here but because it knows that it's not meant to make sense and it it knows that it's meant to be quite a mind-bending experience. It delivers what it sets out to do. And if I could sit down and talk with the director and say, okay, this particular scene, what were you trying to do? Or what were you not trying to do anything? Was it meant to just be a representation of a certain type of animation or a certain feeling or a certain emotion that's represented that may be disjointed to what we get in the next scene or the next moment? But that's kind of why it boggles the mind. So as long as you're in the mood to watch an animation that makes no sense whatsoever, while still having, you know, it still has a continuing structure of this cat going on this journey in an attempt to save his sister's soul, there is a meaning. There is rising action. It does actually have a pretty classic narrative structure in that regard. But the action that unfolds is completely disjointed and doesn't make a lot of sense in the grander scheme of things but that's the point it's not meant to make sense um one of my favorite there's a review on imdb from uh i don't i can't remember the individual's name but they reviewed it and described it as or they said it is described as hello kitty on acid i think that's a pretty good good way of describing it um it's based on the manga of the same name by the way which i haven't read um, if you have read it, feel free to let me know if this is more peculiar, less peculiar. If it's worth reading, I'm not really a manga fan, but I'm always willing to give it a go if it's recommended. Cat Soup is something that I will probably watch again at some point, just because I feel like every viewing experience is going to be completely different to the last. I think everybody's going to get something completely different from it, and what you read into it might be different as well. It's not usually my kind of thing, but actually... It really appealed to me and I think it worked really well.